month or so. And this isn't one of those, you know, planet Namek will be destroyed in five minutes jobs. He's probably going to be here real soon. Right. No more rebs for Shun. <sighs> hey, put a bang and donk on it. I better be sure to uh, convert, eh? Hmm, 16th. Well... You did good diverting that stack's attention. At least you can feel good about that, huh? Now he's going for Sour Gut. He'll be there. I won't have enough time to get two sieges done on it. Give him a run for his money if I run to Irtesh. Moscow's done well with occupation here. Hello, Six Shock General. Couldn't help but notice you're coming for my land. Excellent timing of the. Uh, the extra one, no, two siege from this guy. Okay. What'll it be? What are you going to do from there? Mormon to Suzdal to where? <laughs> to run away. Good choice. Jake, good to see you have, don't have two provinces anymore. I've still got the two provinces. Thing is, we got the rest of our land back. The rest of our rightful land. Gee, it's so hard to chew through Muscovy. Although, from the 51 battles, we come out on top. We've won 48% of them, okay. Right, just what are you going to be doing here? Arim on the 14th. It's a slight chance we can get that before you manage whatever you're planning. Alright, so Suzdal, huh? Good, our force is going to kind of come together here. Maybe come together on Tavera so we can better defend our own troops. Uh, okay, love to handle them, and I can't, good. Well, that was foolish of me, but, oh dear. Well, maybe I can give them the runaround. They're only mercs, after all. Oh, no, no, no. You don't be making more troops. Fortunately, with your high war exhaustion, I'll probably take ages to recruit every anyone. Alright, so you go to Suzdal. I will go north from Mormon. Yeah, I beat you. I just have to hope that I can actually win this battle. Some bad rolls. Yeah, well, I've already got minus two. And we don't have the help of Nagai just yet. Mediocre roll. Excellent roll. Get wrecked, Muscovy. Right, you said you'd be done on the 23rd of March, right? We'd still pop you, hopefully. You just hold on to that for a little while. You know, the Merc sieging was still a good idea. Seemed to keep him preoccupied. 
Meanwhile, spread out the siege just because we're doing damage to him this way. Really pumping up his war exhaustion. Oh, yes. Novgorod's big money, so take that, please. Taking Moskva and below zero, I'll be able to take away his trade income for the most part. And our manpower is still going strong. It's not just a number. It's never just a number. Ah, uh, Muscovy. Remember your number bet, Jake. Wow, he still makes damn good money. Like a bunch of that's off of trade. I wonder how much it's costing him to field an army that size. He's a lucky nation, he probably gets some cheaper to get. <laughs> so, you're starting to th see things my way. That's right, I will be wanting all those cores for Siberia, but that's not all I'll be wanting. In fact, I might not want those straight off the bat. It might be a better idea to chop you in half if I take these Asian provinces. No, oh, that seven base tax does not appeal to me. Okay, these three provinces then. I'll be able to cut you off. And with the rest, I'll probably just take land and release um, Novgorod. As usual. No, not as usual. You're going north this time, but you'll still be able to reinforce your friends. And I can't have that. Well, it's the middle of summer. We can enjoy some uh, more relaxed fighting around here. Ah, good thinking our troops are too spread out. trying to do, but I'm still going to take advantage of it. Jake, what's the vodka? <laughs> what's the vodconomy? <laughs> Jake, siege Neva. Yeah, Neva is an estuary, so I will want that as well. You've built a mini fleet. Have you set it to work yet? Yeah, yeah it's finished, isn't it? Are we still up to force limit? No, we've got two more force limit. Keep those ships coming, but the ones that we do have get into our little inland sea and I want you to privateer Beijing. Wow! Yeah, get us all that uh, power projection. We're able to wipe you still. Oh, okay. Not quite. So that you can have that. Poor guy's troops are trapped here. Jake, you could hire her mercs in Moskva. No, I can't. You can't hire... What? Oh, right. Can't hire mercs in overseas provinces. So I cannot. Yeah, sure enough. I don't mind these mercs, though. They're keeping Muscovy busy. Gee, Siberia wrecked with rebs. Nationalist rebs at that. How you doing, Shun? No rebels? Good. You know, you'd have even less rebels if you converted these lands. Yeah, you'd also have less rebs if I didn't keep dragging you into wars. That is true. I wonder how much of my manpower survival is down to that one man giving me 10% extra. 
Hey buddy, long time no see. Moving to Torzok, are we? Not on my watch. Not Novgorod either. Bellow Zero, you're gonna get forests, but there shouldn't be any kind of river crossing penalty. Like I said, these guys keep me busy. Perhaps what I should be doing is resieging some of this horrible land back. Come to think about how does the guy have any manpower left? You must be getting everything from your capital in Samtoy. The release of Perm would be very expensive. Not worth thinking about then. There we go. Wow, yeah, their prestige is really tanking. Come on, Crimea! Oh! Okay. Oh no, that's Georgia. Curse the similar flags. Hmm. Somebody said Kazan as a vassal could be useful. Nah, I've already got most of their land here. Military points near the cap. No, the cap is 1748. I'm not near that. Okay, so they're still going through cost or whatever. Good to know. Now, Ford economy. How are those loans getting on? Still minus 26 for loans, maybe that means he hasn't taken out any more. Hard to tell, I don't know I don't know exactly how it works. I won't get to Susdal in time, but I can stop him from moving here. I can stop yeah, there we go. The eleventh of February, and that'll be done on the twenty-first of February. Be back on the twenty-fifth, and back to the fair. Keep crushing the small stacks. Dum de dum dum. <clears throat> All right, Novgorod, time to fall. Taking Novgorod itself will be far too much in war score thanks to its uh, monumental costs. But if I can get Siberia all their land back? No, I should wait for Siberia until I've um, <clears throat> cleaned up Muscovy on this side. I should focus more on just taking Novgorod cores. But by the same token, I kind of want to link it up. Oh. Okay, so that's everything Novgorod have cores on. Is that really enough, though? That's not going to weaken Muscovy all that much. Which is a shame. What I really need to do is cut them. Cut them right here. But I can't core European provinces on this side. I don't want to take... Oh, wait, you're Siberian. Sunny and... <sighs> Siberia would buy you. 